Well, 2023 has been a real banner year for artificial intelligence. While fearing exactly how it'll change our lives is reasonable, the future isn't all bad. Breakthroughs in science and medicine are also on the horizon. Now the inventor behind the famous Teddy Ruxpin bear is using AI to help diagnose strokes and protect your teeth. Joining me now is Ravi Sani, a founder of RKS Design, Mr. Sonny, thank you so much for joining me. No, my pleasure. So, Teddy Ruxpin, was that your first? I mean, there was nothing bigger. I was an 80s kid, and, and that thing bowled me over. We're talking AI, but was, was that you as a clearly a lifelong inventor and a thinking mind, was that the first time you had done something world-changing, shall we say? You know, actually, I, it, it, my first uh, challenge in my professional career was to develop the first touch screen as part of the Xerox team. So we couldn't get people to actually touch the screen, so I developed the, the user interface, the graphical user interface that you see uh, at Xerox and things like the status bar and the help location. But commercially, yeah, Teddy Ruxpin was a, was a breakthrough for me and my firm. Uh, started with, uh, you know, we're handed a teddy bear that couldn't be called a teddy bear, but that had its eyes move and its mouth move, uh, synchronized to the voice. And then we worked for months on end, seven days a week, to really develop it into a cuddly teddy bear that came to life, which is easily said, but very hard to achieve. And that was the secret. That was the secret was the human, uh, yeah. was the human approach to design and innovation. And, and uh, remarkable to, to work around like the trademarks or copyright or whatever, instead of Teddy Bear, it's Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah, Teddy Ruxpin actually was a name uh, that was brought, brought in uh, from a puppet show from Ken Forsey, who, who, uh, who was the creator, the animator, uh, who came out of Disney and had a puppet show and Teddy Ruxpin was the character, and that's how the stories were quality. Yeah. Uh, we okay, had to make it into a teddy bear. I, don't, don't mean to interrupt, but it's fascinating. I could talk for 10 minutes about this, but my producer will yell at me. So now, instead of bears that I loved in the 80s, uh, you're using your knowledge, your skill set to save lives. Um, diagnosing, treating strokes, saving teeth, um, you know, brain, teeth, I can't even think of anything more important. Um, tell me what you're doing with AI. Well, it, it, it's, it's a very interesting time for, for medicine. We're involved in a multitude of med, medical technologies uh, today, uh, and the future all includes AI. Uh, one of the big breakthroughs uh, is uh, Stroke DX, which is a portable unit that can detect the uh, the location, size, and type of stroke uh, within within an hour. Uh, I believe is what we're getting it down to. Hopefully, 30 minutes. Um, and the future is that yes, uh, you know, as we start to collect all this data, it won't just be about the diagnosis, but it'll be of the treatment. We're also developing a new product for medicine delivery. So we're gonna revolutionize medicine delivery uh, with a company called Aspargo, where we're actually taking medications and we're suspending them in liquid and giving them a flavor. And instead of swallowing a pill, you basically can squirt something in your mouth and it's absorbed 80% through, through the mouth. Uh, and you don't have to go through the digestive wow. system. So uh, as we start to collect the data from that, you can imagine how that will affect uh, all of medicine and all of pharmaceuticals. So we're going from stroke to dental uh, and to, to pharmaceuticals and over-the-counter medications, all based on new technologies. And as the data comes in and as we collect everything, then we can use a human-centered approach to use AI to teach us and to make us informed so we can make the human-centered decisions. Very unbelievably exciting time. Yeah, uh, uh, give me a 20-second anecdote. Out of all the things you're working on, what is the furthest along in, in showing the most promise? 
Well, Stroke DX is going into clinicals. We clinical have clinical trials already. Uh, we have a, a heart treatment that's in clinicals. Uh, the the uh, the drug delivery system is being is on the shelf in Europe now, and will be going into clinicals uh, here within a few months. Um, so all these things will be out within within you know a year to two years. Uh, they'll be in our lives. Well, wow, that's remarkable. I mean, it, ethically, is there any concern here? I mean, it's like there's always a concern here. Like, you know, I'm thinking you're the inventor of Teddy Ruxpin. I mean, Teddy Ruxpin AI could be news anchor AI in a year. You know, I could be gone by AI. Um, ethically, I don't, you don't seem to be that much in the gray area, right? I mean, you're just saving lives. We're making lives, increasing the quality of life for people, I would say and saving lives. Yeah, and it's and added it, 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 helping AI doctors. is a tool. Yes, it's helping doctors. Now, with all the remarkable stuff do you do, um, I got to admit you go into a room and you're like got this laundry list. I mean, you got a resume that could choke a shredder of like, we're saving this, we're doing strokes, we're doing teeth, we're doing how to you know take medicine differently. And does, at what point in the intro does say, and this guy also invented Teddy Ruxpin? <laughs> it's always it's always part of the conversation. Good. I always, I always take great pride on the number of smiles uh, well, that we've given smile. children and parents. Yes, and you make me smile, and I am uh, no longer a child, but it makes me smile, and it makes me smile to think what you're doing for the world now, uh, Mr. Swanee. Uh, blessings in your continued work. Thank you for what you're doing. A founder of RKS Design. Good luck, my friend. All right. Thank you.